Oh, blimey. It really is amazing how these men survive, but they do. The strike by a comparatively small number of newspaper operatives in London brought most of Fleet Street to a full stop. Provincial offices not affected by the strike carried on, of course, and naturally drew considerable queues, proof that a man must have his paper. Meanwhile, as for example here in the evening news offices, papers continued to be made up day by day. But the presses were idle and publication was impossible. After a week, negotiations included joint talks at the Ministry of Labour, at which Lord Rothermere was the chief representative of the Newspaper Proprietors Association. Bookstalls had reading matter to sell, but not newspapers. However, hopes of a settlement were underlined by the fact that all was in readiness to rush good news onto the streets as soon as it came. 